A Morehead teen is back on the ice just months after having brain surgery. And Molly, this was a surgery this he didn't see coming, right? Not at all. He only thought he had some, you know, bad headaches. But it turns out that a routine trip to the eye doctor was going to be anything but normal. <laughs> there weren't any signs that I had a grapefruit-sized mass in my head. Tyler Robertson was an active 19-year-old, playing hockey weekly and working two jobs. But when he started blacking out from time to time, he went in for an eye exam. He took pictures of the back of my eyes and found out that my optic nerves were swollen. The optometrist sent Robertson to the ER, where he had an MRI. He felt completely normal, but the results were shocking. And they told me that I had a grapefruit-sized mass in my frontal lobe on the left side. Robertson was rushed to the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, where he went through more testing. And three days later, doctors removed the mass diagnosed as stage 4 glioblastoma, a cancerous brain tumor. Worst stage I could get, said it was terminal, gave me 5 to 10 years left. So, yeah, that happened pretty fast, too. <laughs> But Robertson only wanted one thing, to be able to get back on the ice. Doctors told him to wait three months after surgery, a message he took as a suggestion. It was something to look forward to, something to push forward to and keep, keep striving for. And he isn't planning to leave the ice again. Cancer's not going to stop me. <laughs> but Robertson's story doesn't stop there. Chance the rapper saw Robertson's tweet about missing his concert due to cancer surgery and as, now is being flown to Las Vegas later this month for a VIP concert experience. That is so exciting. He gets to go to Las Vegas to hang out with Chance the Rapper? It, it's amazing, honestly. It was just one simple tweet. He thought it wasn't going to get noticed by anyone and within three days it had been retweeted 121,000 times. Maybe maybe we should retweet that for him. <laughs> or just, you know, let him have a great time in Vegas. He deserves it. Sounds good. Thanks for the story, Molly. Absolutely.